In this video, we will look at four examples to determine if a given binomial is a factor of a given polynomial. In a previous video, we used the remainder theorem to answer this question. In this video, we will be analyzing the graph of the polynomial to determine if the given binomial is a factor, and then also determine what the remainder would be if the polynomial was divided by the binomial. Where the remainder theorem states, if a polynomial function f of x is divided by the binomial x minus c, then the remainder is f of c. But graphically it follows that if x minus c is a factor of the polynomial function f of x, then the point c comma zero is a horizontal intercept or x-intercept, and c is a zero of the polynomial function. So for the first example, to determine if x plus two is a factor of the given polynomial graphically, the first thing we need to recognize is that for x plus two to be in the form of x minus c, we need to think of x plus two as x minus negative two, which means c is negative two. So if we have addition, c is negative. If we have subtraction, c is positive. So if f of negative two is equal to zero, x plus two is a factor, but this also applies that the point negative two comma zero would be an x-intercept or horizontal intercept. So right now, this is a question. We want to determine if it's true. If it's not true, then x plus two is not a factor. If it is true, x plus two is a factor. Let's graph the polynomial on the TI-84 graphing calculator. We press y equals, and to save some time, I've already typed in the four polynomial functions, but notice right now the equal signs are highlighted, which means all four polynomials will be graphed. We need to turn off y sub two, y sub three, and y sub four by going over to the equal sign and pressing enter. Notice when we do this, the equal sign is no longer highlighted. So let's graph y sub one and see if it has a x-intercept at negative two comma zero. Let's begin with the standard window by pressing zoom six. This isn't a great window to determine the graph of the polynomial, but it's good enough because we can see it does have an x-intercept of negative two comma zero, which means x plus two is a factor. If we wanted to verify this by determining f of negative two, we could go to the table of values, and let's go ahead and do that. But let's first press second window for the table set. Notice right now the table is going to start at negative three and change by 0.5, and the independent variable is on automatic, which is fine. So we'll press second graph, scroll down to x equals negative two, and we can see the function value is zero. So we now know that x plus two is a factor, and because of this, if we divided the remainder would be zero. Next, we want to determine if x minus one is a factor of the given polynomial. Because x minus one is the binomial, c is positive one. So if f of one is equal to zero, x minus one is a factor, which also means the point one comma zero would be an x-intercept. So right now this is a question. We want to see if it's true or not. So going back to the calculator, we press y equals, turn off y sub one, turn on y sub two. And let's go ahead and press graph. The graph does not have an x-intercept or horizontal intercept at the point one comma zero, which means x minus one is not a factor. To find the remainder, if we divided the polynomial by x minus one, we need to find the function value f of one. So if we press second graph for the table, we scroll down to x equals one, and we can see the corresponding function value is 20, which would be the remainder. So for this question, the answer is no. X minus one is not a factor. If we divided, the remainder would be 20. Let's look at two more examples. Now we want to determine if x is a factor of the given quadratic function. We can see x is not a common factor, so it's not going to be a factor. But looking at this graphically, we would have to think of x as x minus zero, and therefore c is equal to zero. So if f of zero is equal to zero, then the ordered pair zero comma zero would be an x-intercept. Again, if x was a factor of the quadratic function. So going back to the calculator, we press y equals, turn off y sub two, turn on y sub three, and press graph. 
Again, we're checking to see if it passes through the origin. This is not a very good window to see if it passes through the origin. It looks close, but let's zoom in. We press zoom, option two for in, and then enter. Notice how the graph does not cross the horizontal axis or x-axis at the origin zero comma zero, and therefore x is not a factor of the quadratic function. To find the remainder, if we divide it by x, we can press second graph for the table, and notice when x is zero, the corresponding function value is negative one, which would be the remainder. So for this example, the answer is no, x is not a factor. If we divided, the remainder would be negative one. And for the last example, Notice how the binomial is two x minus three. It has to be in the form of x minus c to determine the value of c. So we'll have to factor out the two or set two x minus three equal to zero. If we factor out the two, we'd be left with x minus three halves. Notice if we distribute the two, we still have two x minus three here. So if x minus three halves is a factor, so is two x minus three. And therefore c is equal to positive three halves or if we needed to, we could set two x minus three equal to zero and solve to find the value of c. We'd add three to both sides and then divide by two, giving us three halves. So now if f of three halves is zero, two x minus three is a factor, but also the ordered pair three halves comma zero would be an x-intercept. Let's check the graph. Press y equals, turn off y sub three. Turn on y sub four. And we did change the window, so let's press zoom six to get back to the standard window. Notice how the graph does appear to cross the x-axis at three halves comma zero, but to verify this, we can calculate the x-intercept, which is called a zero, or we can use the table of values. Let's show both. To calculate the horizontal intercept, or zero, we press second trace for the calculation menu, option two for zero. We need to get close to the x-intercept, but to the left. Right now, the cursor is at x equals zero, so we press the right arrow to get closer. Let's say here and press enter, and now we need to move to the right side, which in this case is above. Let's say here, press enter, and enter again. And we can see the x-intercept is 1.5 comma zero, and therefore two x minus three is a factor of the polynomial function. The other option would be to go to the table of values by pressing second graph and scrolling down to 1.5 and seeing the function value is zero. So for this one, two x minus three is a factor. The answer is yes. If we divide it because it is a factor, the remainder would be zero. I hope you found this helpful.